last summer. There seems to be huge differences, and there are. But every one of us realizes if we don't have a deal now, it will not be easier next year. And uh, for a prime minister, it is a very frightening perspective to realize that after next year, it will go to the parliament. And I don't think we like that. So uh, the, the chances for a deal is still quite good, I think. Well, this evening was, uh, as you have probably heard, uh, all the countries uh, had the possibility to um, uh, give their opinion on the situation, uh, their demands, uh, their views, uh, and now it's up to the British presidency to work on further proposals. So uh, tomorrow we will uh, go on. It's uh, much too early now to predict what uh, what can or what might happen. There was some kind of tension, but it was not aggressiveness, it was the sense of responsibility. I believe an agreement it is possible. I'm doing my best. I want an agreement as ambitious, as fair as possible. So there is still a long way to go, but I believe an agreement is possible. So, uh, Les Britanniques se croient rendus comprendre que la très grande majorité des États membres demandaient une diminution supplémentaire du chèque britannique et un relèvement des moyens financiers dédiés à la politique de cohésion dans les nouveaux États membres, ainsi que le rétablissement, le cas et rétablissement des plafonds qui avaient été proposés pour le développement rural. A great number of delegations were asking for a further reduction of uh, the British rebate, not because we would be uh, hostile as far as British interests are concerned, Just that's not really my point, not at all, but because we want Britain, like the others, to take their fair part, uh, their fair share in the uh, cost of the enlargement, that's, uh, that's the point.